Dagachu is buzzing with activity. The tranquil and quiet Himalayan kingdom of Bhutan is catching up with the rest of the world. And sustainable development is the key phrase. Blessed with abundant natural resources and having realized its tremendous hydropower potential, the royal government of Bhutan has initiated many hydroelectric projects over a period of last 25 years. These projects have been generating power, which is much more than Bhutan's own needs. This has resulted in Bhutan being a net power exporter and the only country in South Asia with power surplus. By the year 2007, hydropower sector's net contribution to Bhutan's national revenue stood at 45%. The Gachu Hydroelectric Project One more important project in this series but unique in many ways. This is the first public-private partnership hydropower project in Bhutan and will be operated through independent power procedures. Promoted by Druk Green Power Corporation, Bhutan State Power Generating Company and Tata Power from India. The Gachu Hydroelectric Project has been funded by Asian Development Bank under Green Power Development Project. A part of the funding has also been provided by Austrian Export Credit Agency, OEKB. The Gachu Hydroelectric Project is also the first project in Bhutan to be registered with UNFCCC under Clean Development Mechanism for Earning Carbon Credits. The power generated from this plant will replace fossil fuel based thermal power generation in the northern Indian power grid. The project expects to reduce carbon emission by 5,29,914 tons per year. The Gachu hydroelectric project is a 114 megawatt capacity run of the river project situated on river Dagachu in the southwestern district of Dagana, which is the remotest area of Bhutan as far as accessibility is concerned. The project located on the left side of Dagachu, 11 kilometers upstream of the dagachu Sunkosh confluence, uses the river stretch of about 9.7 kilometers between the intake and tail race outlet. The project is expected to commence production of electricity in 2012. The contract for civil work was awarded to Hindustan Construction Company. India's oldest infrastructure company in July 2009. The scope of work includes the dam, diversion channel, intake structure, head race tunnel, surge shaft, pressure shaft, channel and tunnel to desilting chamber, desilting chamber, power house, transformer cavern, maintenance and control building and TRT or tail race tunnel. Let us now look at the various components of this project. Weir HCC is constructing the weir which is 120 meters long and its height is 36 meters. Diversion channel The work related to the diversion channel of 233 meter length is near completion. Head race tunnel HRT The head race tunnel or HRT is a 7,704 meter long horseshoe shaped tunnel with a diameter of 5.2 meters. Search tank. The project has a search tank of 18 meter diameter and 46 meter height. Pressure shaft. The power generation is through one pressure shaft of 3.4 meter diameter and 271 meter height. Power house. The power house which will produce hydropower of 114 megawatts shall be situated in the powerhouse cavern. The powerhouse cavern is of size 62 meters by 24 meters and is 37 meters long. Tail race tunnel TRT. The tail race tunnel which is the last component of the project is a 679 meter long horseshoe shaped tunnel with a diameter of 5 meters. One more unique feature of this project is that the various components of the project are located in such a way that the faces of all the tunnels are in open and no edits were required to be made for access. 
However, all other hindrances related to the work start right from the location of the project. The Gachu Hydroelectric Project is located in the most inaccessible area of Bhutan. The total length of roads in Dagana district is pathetically low at only 145.1 kilometers. Out of this, feeder roads and farm roads together form about 57 kilometers. Therefore, footpaths and mule tracks are still the primary means of physical connectivity. This makes the delivery of equipment and material to the site a tough task in itself. The condition of rock is another major concern. Loose, soft or class 4 rock is being encountered at various places as is typical in the Himalayan region. HCC has to work out innovative solutions to move ahead with the work. In spite of all difficulties, HCC's team has been facing the challenges in a spirited manner. The experience of executing numerous diverse types of hydroelectric projects and the willingness to go beyond brief to ensure seamless completion is helping HCC to move ahead with the progress of work. On the environmental front, Druk Green Park Corporation has ensured that the number of people and crops affected by the project are minimal. Overall, 145 people are affected by the project. The total amount of standing crops affected is 3.1 acres of paddy and 8.16 acres of maize. The total number of fruit trees affected is only 388 orange trees. The power generated at the Gachu Hydroelectric Project will be exported to India through the existing grid connected to India. When HCC finishes this project successfully, it will be just one more feather in its cap. But for India, it will be the availability of more electricity and more progress. HCC, helping India to get charged.